Eric B's Daily Vlogs. The weather people here in San Francisco lied. Said it was supposed to rain all weekend long. Can you see any rain? Or any thunderstorms? Or any rain clouds? No. I'm gonna walk around the edge over there with those all those people walking. Get back to my elements of being outdoors. Indoors are fun, outdoors are better. So let's go walk down the path, stay off the edge, and let's get this started. <laughs> We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Hey everybody watching, I want to wish my friend Eric uh, congratulations because this is his 900th, 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 vlog in a row congratulations eric you are part of the elite group of elite people that has done it i am so proud of you it's like seeing one of my sons grow up and become a professional a professional bull rider or something congratulations eric you deserve it. Bye. Welcome everyone. It's my daily vlogs channel, Eric B's Daily Vlogs. Still using the Canon V10. And I'm still recording with the DJI mic. Sound quality on the mic sounds a lot better than the onboard mic here, especially when we're outdoors. You guys heard that Japantown vlog. Fixed it just a little bit in post to make the sound a lot better. But today we're in not sure what part of the beach this is. Moss Landing. But there's a path right behind me over there. We're going to take that path. It's really windy today, but I don't think I need to turn on the noise cancellation for the mic. But we'll see how windy it gets. I'm going to take this path right behind me over here. I'm going to go walk, talk, and vlog all at the same time. Let's go walk over there. Let's go. Let's go. V10 is good. It works well. I mean, it's not a action cam, so there's the stability will just be okay. I did turn on enhance for this video just because I know I'm going to be walking around a lot. It's just fine. It does what it does. The quality, picture quality is amazing on here. Look over here, you can see the horse stables all along over there. That's Great Highway. You got Sutro Towers over there. That's the horse stables. We're walking down this path. There's a little area over there that has a description board of what we're looking at. We're going to go check out the ocean, the waves, just because they said it was supposed to rain this weekend. And it hasn't. Let me take that back. It has rained. Not as much as it was supposed to. It's supposed to be a big storm is what the weather people come saying. A big storm's coming to San Francisco. Hunker down. I can't talk about the people in the North Bay. They probably got affected. The North Bay, like Vallejo, Napa, they probably got affected a lot. So if they did, I apologize. But I'm talking about the weather people said. It was going to be a big storm. It was going to be crazy. You guys got to get your sandbags ready. All that stuff that they said we had to get ready. And then here we are on a nice... Beautiful, sunny day, like I said, and there's no rain. At least, not yet. At least, not yet. Walking down this path, there's two little areas. I can either walk straight, that's where everybody else is walking, down this path, or I can walk down here and just check out the waves. I'll probably walk down here, just because I've never been here before. And yes, it's a little bit muddy, it's a little bit wet. 
But man, you can see the waves. Look at that. That is one hell of a drop. I got the camera pointed up, but look at that view. Wow. That is a nice view right there. Somebody made it all the way to the bottom. Man, I'm gonna have to do this. I'm gonna have to do this hike one day. It goes all the way over there. I'm definitely gonna have to do this view. This, this, I'm saying I'm so in awe with the view. I kept saying view. I might have to do this this hike one day. It's pretty cool. But you know me, the sounds of the waves. It is pretty high tide. The way it looks right there. It looks pretty cool. I started syncing my audio and post from the camera to the DJI mic only because the sound quality on the mic is way better. I did tie my hair back because I didn't want the wind. You know, I'm getting used to the whole hair thing. You know, it's my first time having hair, so I'm getting used to it. But it is nice little path that I'm walking on. Let's see how far I can get. The stables, the person, if you can see in the distance over there, is riding the horse. Because the stables is just right there. But the view over there, man, the view, that's, that's one view right there. That's an immaculate view. An immaculate view, I must say. What does the word immaculate mean? Who knows what immaculate means? You can see that person over there on the horse galloping along. It's a windy day. Don't feel like I have to turn on the noise cancellation just because I want you guys to hear the sounds of the waves. You probably can't hear it from up here, which is fine. But man, the, just the, the view from up here. This is one of those areas, like if you look on the coastline right there, even over here along this coastline, you'll always hear water rescue or cliff rescue because someone always gets too close to the edge. I don't think it's here where I'm, where I'm at. This is one area that's been okay. I'm not going to say it is because I don't know, but I know for sure over there, there's always a water rescue. Fort Funston, where the hang gliders are, is always... There's always some notorious person and their dog is falling over. It's just one of those things where you just got to be careful. You got to look around. You got to watch your surroundings. I mean, this is how far I am from the edge. All these iceberg plants is kind of making a border for no one to walk towards that edge. But then every now and then you got that one person who decides I don't care. I'm going to make my own path right here. I'm going to walk towards the edge. The next thing you know, they are down there. I mean, you'll be able to get out of that. I think. I think. There's a family that started the same time I did. And they're already at the bottom of the trail over there. See the white dog over there? They're already down there. I'm still here. I don't know if I want to make it make my way down there. I don't know. I mean that looks like it looks like a good hike. It looks like a fun hike. It looks like a hike that I probably enjoy once I get down there. I'm probably gonna turn the camera off make my way down there make my way down there but first check this out check this out i'm going to flip the camera around keep the mic on you got the person on the horse cool thing about this area that we're at she's riding the horse like i said earlier galloping along that's cool all right i'm going to make my way down this hill because it looks like it's more interesting down that way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you guys with me just till 
I know for sure if I want to go all the way down there or not. So, is this something I want to do? See, the going down the hill is not hard. Going down the hill seems pretty fun. And again, we got a closer view of the stables right there. This is the stables you always see off Great Highway. See, the going down part is fun. It's the coming back up. I mean, that view right there, again, once you get to that bottom, you see where those people are right there, that's a tremendous view. It's a tremendous area. It's a beautiful spot. I just don't think I want to do it. Maybe not today. Yeah, I'm not going to do it today. I mean, it's just fun to just sit up here and look, relax, unwind, and just see Mother Nature, the ocean waves. Plus, I'm not wearing the right shoes. I'm wearing my, my everyday work shoes. And it's been raining. It's been wet. The terrain. I'm coming up with excuses. That's all it is. Excuses for a reason for me not to go down there. One day I will. Not today. Even this cool bench right here is wet. Made from trees. Some kind of tree-like material. Winds kicked up just a tad. Who's tad? I'm just going to sit here and enjoy the view. That's all I'm going to do. Nothing else. Nothing more. Nothing else. Just enjoy what this San Francisco beach view has to offer. I like it. A couple days ago, I was down further that way, that way. I was talking about, I was on Vicente, and I was talking about how far down you can see down the coast. And I said, you can see as far down south, if you look at those rocks over there, that's Pacifica, maybe even, yeah, it's Pacifica, it can't be Half Moon Bay. It's Pacifica area, you hug this coastline, you'll hit Pacifica, and keep going, you'll hit eventually hit Half Moon Bay. Then if you look out further, you can't see it today because the rain clouds looks like they are coming in from a distance. But Fairlawn Islands is out that direction. And if we pan to the right, that's Stinson Beach out at the North Bay Edge. Marin as well over there. Cool little spot here. Cool little spot. Since I've been contemplating on walking down that hill, I've been watching how long it took or takes people to get from where I am to that little area where that person is right there and taking photos. Doesn't look like it's that long. It doesn't. I'm just really lazy right now. But this is a nice, there's two paths. So you see a path where that person is walking the dog right there. And there's an inner path right here, you can see. And on a nice day, maybe when the day's nicer and the ground isn't so moist. And again, I'm not wearing the right shoes. I might, I might make it. I mean, this is really 
what word, what big word am I looking for? Eric, what big word are you looking for? This is really captivating right now. Just the view. Just the view this has to offer. I like it. These freaking crows keep freaking me out. There's like so many of them. There was a guy earlier that was feeding them. That's why they're just walking around. See? I mean, these are the size of chickens. They're huge. These crows or these ravens? I don't ever know the difference. See, that guy get really close to me. Look at that. Look at that. He's just right there. Closer than, than it looks. But I'm more interested in the view. Look at those houses up there. See the houses up there, up in that area? Where's my finger? Right in those areas right there, those houses. Some of those houses here in San Francisco, there's a tendency of them falling into the cliff. So you gotta be careful if you're here or live in that area. Like I said, there's a, always been rescues people calling saying that we need fire we need rescue there is a special fire unit that comes out here that does beach rescues but man this is just this is cool I'm gonna head back towards the car one day I'm gonna make it down there one day not today though one day when the weather is better the ground isn't so soft I'll make it down there Hey, doggy. Doggy just run, running up all around me right there. <laughs> when I was over at Ocean Beach at Vicente, I didn't realize there was a dog running around me until I watched the video and I said, whoa, there's a dog around me. I didn't even realize it. But yeah, this is a nice, nice scenic view here. Don't know why it took me this long to finally come out this way. Yeah, the dog's still, the dog's still running all over the place. <laughs> Dog's gonna do its business. So yeah, nice little area, nice little spot, nice little view that one day, one day, I'll make it down there. That dog just made a big poop and he didn't pick it up. That dog literally just made a big poop and he didn't pick it up. What the heck, man? That guy didn't pick up his dog poop. This is the reason why dog owners get a lot of grief or they get grief because the dog poops and they don't pick it up it was here somewhere that candy took a little poopy but that's the reason why it's like come on man dog has to go to the bathroom i know you're jogging let the dog do the business pick it up he probably just didn't want to hold it because he's running down the path i'm not sure if i see him down the path yet but Shame on him for doing that. I mean, it is on the icebergs. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It should be picking up his dog poop. I mean, you just ruined my beautiful view of the San Francisco Bay. You didn't ruin it, but you ruined my little experience because if I did want to step on these little icebergs, now I have to watch where I walk. Probably have to watch where I walk on these little little trails too but come on man you know better look further in the distance over there look how big those waves you see those waves way in the distance I have to change the subject real quick because over there way over there you see those white heads those are big waves those are big powerful waves that's hitting up over there wow I wish this camera had zoom. It doesn't have zoom. I wish it had zoom. That's some big waves. All right, gonna make my way back towards the vehicle. Wind, like I said, has been picking up. You guys got one last look of this beautiful San Francisco ocean beach, beach area. I'm gonna walk up to the other side there's a placard over there I'm gonna see what this area is called so we're gonna walk over there all right one last look like I said of the beach 
got people here trying to do a photo shoot, so I'm trying not to bomb their photo. I'm gonna walk back up this way. Like I said, there's a little placard up there. We're gonna go walk up that placard. Check out this area. There's a lot of cars that are here now. But this is the little placard. It's a couple more we'll go read when we get over there. This is called the Coastal Dune Invasion. It just talks about the wildlife, the flowers. You got your raccoon proof garbage can right here. This is more the paved area where the, you know, the tourist. I was on the other side of this fence. But this is the area that you can walk to, read about the area, read about what this area has to offer. What does this placard say? Oh, talks about the old railway that used to be here. This is the old railway right here. It went out towards the beach. So this is where we are. It went all the way out that way. That's pretty cool. I like that. I'm gonna walk more that direction. I'm gonna check out this part right here. Again, there's more, more placards that we can read. There's a broken down path. I think I came here one day and I got in trouble for crossing that line. This one just talks about how dangerous it is over here. See how crazy that is? I told you how the ground below us is not stable. So it just talks about that. So it's talking about sunny skies here in the bay. Then one more over here. And this is a scary one. This talks about the fault line. How crazy. We're sit standing right above the San Andreas Fault. See, I got in trouble for crossing over here one day. I think I went all the way past this tree line. Because there's another. And I can see it from where I am. There's another hidden trail. Right there. See that trail? But... There's fences all along the coastline, and this is the area. There used to be a road, so if you see over there in the distance, there's a little road right there. It used to be a road that would take you down to the bottom of the beach, but I guess with the corroding edge, it's not a safe place to be anymore. But again, this is a nice, clean spot. I think I did get in trouble. I think I was, I went over there and then the people that were standing said, hey, you can't cross the line. You're not supposed to be over there. I said, I'm not going all the way down. Again, there's a fence. The fence tells you not to cross. And there's that trail that I said earlier. It doesn't take you back to where I parked. So it's probably smart that I didn't go down that trail because the trail looks like it goes all the way up there. And it's never ending, so you have to double back. And I think the guy who didn't pick up his dog poop, I can see in the distance. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's adventure. A nice little quick walk through the beach. After being in Japantown yesterday, seeing all those people, sometimes you just need time for yourself. Sometimes. And today, you guys know how I feel about the ocean, the sounds of the waves. Wanted to come out here. Still using the Canon V10 Power Shot, loving it. Get some, you know, trials and tribulations I have to fix. Had to turn on fully enhanced mode today, extend the camera out even more. So I added the Manfrotto tripod selfie stick on here. Um, I am still recording the audio separate. The audio with 
this Canon is good if you're shooting indoors, like, and there's not a lot of background noise, perfect. But if you're shooting outdoors in a building somewhere, there's always gonna be that background noise and you don't want any of that background noise. You don't. Um, but with this mic, there is a way to turn on noise cancellation. I'm not gonna go into depth with that today, but I could if I wanted to. I am using the low road lavalier mic. I was gonna put them together and say load lavalier. It's the road lavalier mic that's connected to the DJI mic too. Um, I'm recording in 32-bit audio. So what I'm doing is I'm recording it separately and then syncing it in post and it's been working out. I kind of like the audio better. So sorry road, DJI got you guys a step up, but I like it. I like the small form factor with the mic. So if I wanted to put it anywhere on my lapel, it seems to work out a lot better, but I like this this way so I can just stick my hand in my pocket, hit record, start recording, and then just sync it later on in post. A little more tedious, a little more whatever, but it works. I like it. I like it. Thank you guys for jumping along. Thank you guys for coming along my adventure here with me. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're watching this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're watching it for 10 minutes, two minutes, give it a thumbs up. It's not that hard. As soon as the video turns on, hit the thumbs up button. I'm seeing 50 views, 100 views. I'm seeing five thumbs up. Even if you just stop and buy, just give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out. And then if you haven't told anyone, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to 2,000 views. I'm trying to get to 1,000 vlogs. I'm at 890. This is 890 right now. So I got 10 more to 900. Um, so I'm trying to get to 1,000. I'm trying to get to 1,000 before the end of the year. So get people on board. Subscribe to my channel. Let them know. Hey, follow Eric B's Daily Vlogs. Get them on there. And some of you guys asked, you haven't done a podcast in a while. I haven't done a podcast in a while. Since the, you know, this team right here kind of went under on the Super Bowl. It's been hard to talk about anything, but it's hard to do this and do that all at the same time. But I will get back on the, the podcast. I swear to God, I will. Not sure when, but I will. But thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me on the adventure here from Ocean Beach. Not sure what part of Ocean Beach, coastal dunes of Ocean Beach. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Vlogs ended. Go in peace. never get tired of this view and just watching the ripples of the waves I've been standing here for a while just watching the ripples going as far back as maybe like three or four ripples of the waves counting how long it takes them to get to where you can see the whites the white caps it's pretty darn amazing it's pretty darn amazing I think it's cool seeing people on horses here in the middle of a city and you got people horseback riding that's cool definitely need to keep that stable keep it going that is cool I made this